Hey Randy, so this will be the driveway. It's plenty wide for a car, especially if you utilize that cement strip on the side there and we just uh, raise it up or put some gravel. But uh, I'm here with the uh, contractor now. The septic tank would basically go right here um, in the middle and then uh, the easiest thing would be to locate your bathroom right here in the rear corner of the apartment. And then we're gonna have a door here to the entrance so that people can actually pull up and park and go right inside. And then once inside, um, they'll enter here and uh, your kitchen space would be over here. Basically, we'll enclose this wall and maybe do a common laundry room, maybe not. Your other option would be to use this space as part of the apartment and make it a bathroom because it's already plumbed. And you could plumb the bathroom to the main house uh, doing it that way. Um, so that's an idea for the future. Uh, the walls are already intact on two sides. Actually, uh, there's a corner buttress on that third side and then we're going to fill over the existing slab at the highest point and basically make it straight from the highest point so it'll be a little bit higher on that side which is good because it'll create a height so that water doesn't enter the front door. Um, so this part will be up about uh, eight inches. Uh, this part will be the same height as it is now. And uh, that's the easiest way to do it and your walls are already constructed here for that side and for the back. So you have two out of the four walls already constructed. As far as the roof, it's going to slope down uh, towards the main gutter. So both roofs will be filling into one main gutter and this gutter does drain out in the street. As you can see, it comes down here. There's a trap here and then it goes out to the street. So that gutter will service the entire uh, house, the front and the back. And then of course do a new roof over the whole top. Hey Randy, in the kitchen, um, I just got a price. We're gonna have uh, two sets of cabinets, one on this side with opening and closing drawers, one on this side, but that one will be with drawers, and then upper cabinets on both sides of the window, extended over to the corner, uh, or to this corner. Anyway, the whole thing will be less than $1,000 for all the cabinets, and then here we're gonna put a large, um, either a fridge, like an extra wide fridge, or you can do your gas range, it's probably the best place for the range, and then the fridge would just be over here, kind of on the side. Um, shouldn't take up too much space. You have a nice cutout here for that.